Good morning. It is currently 7, 10 a.m. I woke up bright, like bright and early because we're redoing my house. I hope you and your families had an amazing Christmas this Christmas. But with that being said, it's time to take down all of my Christmas decor. I refuse to roll into a new year with 2023 decor because then it just drags on your 2023 into 2024. You know, you need a fresh start, new vibes, good vibes into 2024. So we had to take down everything. Wow, my running errands fit. What a sleigh. All right, I'm not committing the same mistake that I did last year. Last year, we used these cardboard boxes from Home Depot to hold all of my Christmas stuff. They literally fell apart. This year, I'm gonna invest in some like actual plastic ones that will hold your stuff together. There was a new drop of Stanley's. They're like perfect for the spring. I got these two for me. And then this white one's for a gift. Even though it's not Christmas anymore, but I haven't given all my Christmas gifts away. So I said, I'm gonna wrap this one. But we're here for boxes, so let's go. These are for the tree. I'm gonna get another one for like the ornaments and stuff. and whatever but other than that it sucks it's really really hard to clean so it's not sanitary at all especially when you have dogs it's just so hard to maintain and just upkeep and i'm just not with it also it's really expensive new year is here and we are finally going to be removing all of my carpet yay editor to the rescue he will be coming over we need to go buy new flooring and we are going to get this project started but did i mention that we are getting a whole new bed and a whole new couch from Castlery. So thank you so much Castlery for sponsoring today's video. If you have not heard about Castlery, Castlery is basically a modern furniture company. Castlery makes luxury living so accessible, just so, so easy. What I literally love about Castlery is that they're always keeping up with the trends and if there's anything that's hitting in that moment, they automatically curate something for it. But the biggest, absolute, my most favorite thing about Castlery is that they actually make luxury looking pieces that are functional and that that is the number one thing that I'm here to show you guys. Because I live in a townhome, I don't have much space. You guys know that, like we really have to ration our space. The products that I ended up choosing are the Dawson bed. I got it in a king size. And there's just so many things that I love about this bed. But one of the biggest key points that absolutely sold me was that there is an under storage to this bed where I can store all of my holiday decor of every season. I just have more space. With past furniture, I just have a bed and that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to it. With our new bed, we also don't bang our ankles all the freaking time because there's like a soft design all on the sides. So much easier or if you're like my dogs, they use it as a step stool. It has completely changed our lives. I love my new bed. My room looks so much more modern, just uplifting. It goes so well with my vision board. I absolutely love it. The castlery not only transformed my bedroom, but they also transformed my living room. I ended up going with the Auburn couch, and this is something that is completely customizable to your space. So you can pretty much pick what pieces you wanted. So I ended up going with the quarter piece, side piece, and then I got a little table. Here's why. With past furniture, we don't really have anywhere to put our drinks, and it has been a hassle. It has been a nightmare. With castlery, I got that little end table, which matches the wood and just like earthy feel that my living room has to it, and it doesn't 
end there. Remember how I said cassowary truly caters to our lives? That table has storage. So I can actually lift it and put seasonal blankets or pillows or anything for when guests come over, they truly feel like they're at home. That is all I needed to know. Like it, it sold me immediately. It looks so modern and just so beautiful. I love our new couch and the material of it is just like the best, most soft, but like elevated look ever. I'm so happy with the way that our pieces turned out and the Castery website has so many different pieces that fit so many different kinds of families and different lifestyles. You definitely have to go check them out. Our entire home is completely transformed and I'm so, so happy. So this entire video, we're gonna show you guys how we ended up going from kind of like an eh looking house to a new year with a brand new furniture that's actually functional, but it looks so luxurious and feels so luxurious. Thank you so much Castery for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you click the link down below to go shop all of your Castery pieces. And stay tuned to see how we put them all together. But first, my morning coffee. This is enough for one shot. One, you better make two out of that one shot. Mr. Addicted. <gasps> Piece of sh Section. Now we're in the pickle of finding the flooring that I like and then making sure that it's in stock and available to take and that it's cheap. <laughs> I really, really like this one right here. It's super, super cute. It has a little bit of texture. It's the perfect color. But this bitch says, order online. I don't got time to order online. What you mean? This one's cute. My head is hurting. Let's see what Jake has to say. Which one do you like? Yeah. Oh. All right, you don't get a choice. <laughs> Just kidding. To Lowe's we go. Saying that in Home Depot is crazy. I know. <laughs> this is the flooring. Oh, wait, there's samples here. Wait, Jake, I like this sample. What do you think? Mm -mm. No. All right, we're gonna take these samples with us and we're gonna go to Floor and Decor, which apparently sells floor. Who would've thought, right? <laughs> so let's go see, because I didn't like anything here. But we're gonna take these just again. Yeah, you know who we at. at floor and Decor. Smile to make my pockets go very, very poor. Ooh. Never ever been to a floor and decor before, but this is real nice. They have like floor and decor. Bruh. Guys, there's like whole panels here. Like you can actually see what your floor is gonna look like. <gasps> Wait, <gasps> Jakey! So far we like this one. Wow, Jakey, this is nice. That was nice. This don't smell like roaches or nothing. Oh my gosh, this is so hard because this store actually has a lot of what we're looking for. I just want to make sure that we make the right decision because you can't just tear up flooring and change it every day. I mean, if you're balling like that, maybe, but we have decided on on our flooring. We ended up just going with this one, which was the initial one we loved. We need 500 square feet. <sighs> now we gotta go pay. 2,400 in the flooring costs alone. Please watch the ads, please, 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 please. We're picking up the floor. They told us to come to the back and then this is where they're gonna deliver the floor. We have secured the flooring and now it is time to finish cleaning this house. So we're gonna tidy up the second floor because this is kind of where everybody's gonna be coming up from and I just want this to look as clean as possible. Actually, let me check how far he is, but I think he's like pushing five. Oh yeah, pushing five. We have literally five minutes to get everything in order because they are coming and they're tearing this place apart. Go. This is gonna stay here, so we're just gonna show it into the bathroom. There's so much confetti under here for my birthday. I don't know how we got down here. <laughs> okay, help me. Why would you get rush? Uh-uh. I'm about to beat this bitch up. What he think I am? Why you mean? I'm not Why doing you that. Mean? <laughs> oh man, and so the LG bed was gone. Boss. Yes. Can you move my way? Okay. <laughs> Here's literally the reason why I'm switching this carpet. Look at the difference under the bed and out of the bed. That is disgusting. And keep in mind, we get our carpets cleaned one to two times a month. They gotta go, they gotta go. Update on our life, the bed just doesn't fit. We're trying to take it down through the other stairs and it just did not fit. So now we're throwing it off the balcony. Oh my gosh, this cannot be safe. My Santa! My dad's dying out here and I'm worried about the Santa. We got the floor back here. They're gonna start carrying that up so we can start installing, but first we have to remove the carpet. But first we have to get coffee. So let's go pick some up. I'm so excited. This is literally like a dream come true. Like I've been wanting to put flooring, but I just haven't done it because it's just so pricey and it's just so much. But this is my Christmas gift from Nat to Nat, okay? Let me 
sugar? Uh, you'd like two sugar, right? No, fine sugar. Dude, I have my jeans right now. We're gonna go take them to get altered. I have an appointment with this girl that I found on TikTok and I'm so excited. Cause look it, I have gaps on all my jeans. So let's start. That's the big old gap right there that we're trying to fix. And she's pinning it for me. We're yeah, just... we're gonna put zippers because the hips are so wide compared to the waist. If we just take it all in, she's never gonna get the pants up. So with two zippers, the one in the front that it originally has, plus another one along the side, she can have this taken in at the waist and still get it all the way past the hips. I think this should be enough. So now it's up to you. What side do you want the zipper on? Oh, man. <laughs> so in this side. On that side. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put a pin there so I know we're going to put a zipper on this side. Some progress. Thank you, Edgar. Good number. One, two, ten. I give you a ten. Nice. We just got back. Wow, the room is complete. Wait. He literally has to do all of these cuts so it could fit in this little area. And there it goes. Question. Yes. One to ten. Ten. Ten? Looks Thank beautiful. Thank you. Initially, we weren't gonna do this floor, but look at the difference. My dad just gained another three no, rooms he has to do, yet. plus a laundry room. They are Hello. leaving. Bye. See you next year. My boy works three hours and dips. Guys, you know what? She's the bad, bad boss in my life. <laughs> He's really, really busy right now, so he has to go to a, a bunch of jobs in LA. That means me and you have to go shopping for everything that needs to be done in the meantime, so that when he gets here tomorrow, everything's here. So let's go. We're gonna be repainting our baseboard because ours are really, really beat up just from like natural everyday beating. We have to go buy a whole new gallon of paint. And we also need to get a gallon of green paint because we're gonna be painting our laundry room green. I know, crazy, but I have a vision. A little blurry, but there's a vision. All right, we just got here too. Vista paint. I really hope they have a good color here. I'm between these two. I like both. I tried to ask Sharky for an opinion, but this is her. We do not care. She doesn't actually care what color we get, so I'm on my own. This is what they look like in the sun, but then in the dark, I don't like. On the camera, it looks the same because it's obviously like fake lighting, but on here, it's like, look at how dark that looks. That looks depressing. So when the sun isn't hitting it, I feel like this room, this room is going to be really dark. Who goes in the laundry room after dark? It like <sighs> now this this is paint i really really like this one i think this is gonna be the one we're gonna get it's the middle point of all of them i'm just gonna do this one <laughs> okay let's just do that one <laughs> Set. Thank you so much. All right, we got a one inch brush. Oh, we need this, cause this is what you stir with. Blue scotch tape to line the baseboards. Let's go. Hello, Shari. I'm gonna clean up the floors. My mattress is in there. We're gonna pull it out to be able to sleep. Oh, damn, this bitch is so heavy. We're gonna do a quick little nighttime routine because I really want to go to sleep. It is 7.40, but since I have to wake up at 5 a.m., I have to sleep now. I need to go to bed. We, you need to go to bed, too. Look at you. Are you tired, too? I am. Get, get off the bed. <laughs> These are fucking kids, bruh. You know what? Matter of fact, no, no. we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. I'm exhausted. No, I'm not, bitch, wake up. My dad will be here in around three hours. In the meantime, we're gonna prep everything for the man. Okay, OOTD, done. 
I'm trying to get rid of all of my groceries before I go and buy more. I'm literally so happy that we're redoing the house like right before the new year. It just feels like such a fresh start at life. And we're gonna pair it with a protein smoothie. Make that two. Fair life. I always add a little bit of oats in there because I like the taste of oats. This is the key ingredient. You cannot make a protein smoothie without this. Is a ripe banana. A little bit of ice. Nice. This is brekkie. Ass is gonna be fat in 2024. Mm. Mm. Guess who's here? Who is it? Is it Grandpa? <laughs> All right, last minute we are gonna end up doing the bathroom, so my dad's trying to figure out right now how we're gonna break that down. Hey, boss. So, yes. You get out of here. <laughs> oh, don't I don't feel good with you. Really close. Why? Because I'm. Because you don't work, okay? huh? Because you fucking annoy me. <laughs> I need to adjust the pride. Why? The pride what I gave you was not for the bathroom. Not for the bathrooms. <laughs> Two bathrooms and laundry room. Okay. <laughs> but it's okay. I like the money. <laughs> so easy i could do that bro <laughs> i'm just kidding go 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 no no i'm just kidding <laughs> we're taking off the moldings <laughs> wait what way is it another one i don't know dad please ah careful <laughs> hey, hey, hey. careful don't break it okay okay be careful with my hand okay dad your hand's over there yeah but <laughs> <laughs> not so okay Hey! <laughs> <laughs> dad, dad, I'm just kidding. You say, it's easy. No, no, no. Look, look. No! Look. Ta da! Isolate the day. All right, now back to the professionals. <laughs> Guys, look, they literally just put concrete under. If you guys remember, under my floor right now, we are putting this layer underneath so it doesn't like creak or anything. Builder grade is literally sh We gotta go get some coffee. I brought Ellie with me. Ellie, say hi. Huh? I brought you guys bread. I, Bruh, I just noticed there's a toilet in the middle of the room. <laughs> this is Jake's bathroom currently. It's literally, they ripped out this toilet too. His toilet's over there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> literally complete already and they're just screwing the toilet back on another room that's down now we're gonna continue with the hallway right here and the actual two bedrooms cuz for the laundry room that's a whole other story but it is lunchtime so Jake wants to go get us chick-fil-a hi Jakey got the goods. we got four deluxe lemonades and then fries ha! Ha! my mom isn't answering this face so I'm <laughs> They were talking and I hung up and then my mom doesn't want to answer now because she's mad. <laughs> I bought these things off of Amazon and they're like rails. Let me show you where exactly this is going to go. You could probably see me. I can't see you. Because it is a mess down here. But this is why. Uh, okay. But we're going to make it a lot more practical by adding those. Then I could pull out the rails. Let's get started, shall we? He said no. <laughs> Bread, coffee, sitting down. I want to be you when I grow up. Oh <laughs> See, it's tricky because since the wall is so, so uneven, 
My dad has to go in and like trim just really odd areas in order for the flooring to fit into the floor. And that's basically what happens when you purchase a home that's like, like when they do new builds, but it's like mass production because nothing is done like carefully. Everyone's just trying to get the homes done and then push them out. All right, it's time to install the moldings back. These are the same ones we were breaking earlier. So now it's time to reinstall because that's what covers the little gapping. It's easy. They are currently working in Jake's room and this is the last thing that has to be done. It's like coming together perfectly. Hi, another day, another fucking day construction. Today's mission is to get more flooring, the crown moldings, and I think that's it. My dad should be getting here literally in about 15 minutes, so I need to get everything in 15 minutes and coffee. We're here at Floor and Decor. This is where we got my flooring at. Let's go in and get more. We ran out, bro, I'm so mad. This bitch is expensive. These are the six boxes. This is what we need, this little thingy. Okay, so your total is gonna be 8, 18, 28. Look who came to save my life. <laughs> Time to go to Home Depot, which is perfect because he can help me take all that stuff too because I'm just asking for help everywhere. <laughs> We're cutting the trim. Nice. Got you. We are getting my plywood sheet. That's what we're using for the laundry room. You haven't even worked. It's not lunchtime. Let's go work. No food, no work. <laughs> I'm done. Breakfast time. I'm just gonna make them eggs with weenies. Chef, Nat is on deck. Put some egg whites in there. Veggies and weenies go in. These are beans. They're already pre-made, so it's super simple. Eggs go right in. These are their plates, and we're just heating up their tortillas right now. Oh my gosh, look at, they're finishing Jakey's room. Looks so good. I have not gotten any lymphatic drainage massage in like a week or two. So I am looking huge and bloated and just not good at all. Let's go get a massage and detox. I feel so much better. She just drained me so much better. Hello. <gasps> it's done. It's literally done. Look at this. Can't even walk in here. Can't even walk through here. Jake's room. Since, since they finished the laundry room, now we can actually start painting. I have a vision for this laundry room and it's like an organic, modern look. Let me tell you something. Ah, shit, I'm gonna get screwed up. Okay, out. this is another project, okay? <laughs> this is another project. Let me finish that last, that first project and then let it continue <laughs> this fucking year. I love it. Let's go eat some lunch while this dries so we can do a second one. It's just me, my dad, and Jake now. The workers ended up going to a different job that my dad has to do, so it's literally, we're, we're solo right now. Furniture comes tomorrow, so we need to have everything done. I got rice, beans, and some shrimp, and then my dad just got like actual authentic seafood. That's where we're eating. Quick little pit stop. I'm here to get some matcha, because I'm like losing energy so bad, and I still have to do a second coat of paint, and my dad is craving bread. There you go, get some energy. Let's get to work. He already put this divider right there. Looks nice. All right, we are moving the bed now. And by we, I mean them. Hey. Ah, baby shark. <laughs> She's talking shit. <laughs> True. <laughs> Green is done, second coat is done. We're gonna let that dry. I will see you tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Bye, thank you, drive safe, Dad. Today comes all of my furniture. I'm so excited to finally have a new bed, a new couch. Let's make some brekkie. Tomatoes, onion, turkey, beans. Pretty much the same thing I made yesterday. Here's brekkie. Another bean. More materials. If I remember correctly, it is this one. My dad said to get four, eight feet. So we only have to measure one and then we'll just copy the rest. Now we cut. Oh, you hit, you hit her. Nah. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Yes. We did it, we did it. 
we did it. Hire me at 1-800 construction. Let's go find the rest of our materials. We're gonna be putting shelves in the laundry room, so this is literally what I need. It's like what holds the shelf up. We don't have many options. They all look kind of bad. Unless we opt for a different color, which is gonna be like black, but I really wanted white. Guys, look at it, it looks so good during the day. It's not gonna need another coat. I think that's like perfect, so let's take off the tape. Also, we got my dad out here working. Almost done. He's almost done, guys. Almost We're at the finish line. We're here at the finish line. He's doing the little moldings again on the side. Time is getting a little shorter. Furniture's almost here. So the game plan is we have to remove the mattress from the master bedroom, put it inside of my bathroom just so we have enough space to actually bring in the new bed. Next game plan is to make sure that the floors are completely clean to make sure that any dust is gone from everywhere because following that, we need to start caulking and painting the finishes, which is like the wood trim. That's gonna take quite a little bit. We have to literally go in and manually patch every single hole that we put in there and repaint so it matches the entire thing. Because if it's not white, it's gonna look off. Castlery is here! There it is. Stop it. Get some help. Jacobo, what are you doing? Look, I'm opening it for you. Let's see. Let's see. Ay, Jacobito, get where you're holding it. No. I know it looks like I'm not doing much, but whoever's doing this shit, big brains, all right? I walk so they can run. Jay, stop doing that. Guys, stop doing that. Guys, you're gonna rip them. Oh, Jay! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ahí nomás, nomás para acá, medio para allá. Yeah, nice. There you go. Good, Jacobito. Nice. Asumítelo! I did it! I did it! Although I thought I was actually gonna finish this day and probably the past week that I started this whole project, it just, it, it did not conclude at all. I actually spent the next few days working on this entire house, just patching up any little issues that were there that I needed to have done. My dad came back an extra two days, was working on pretty much everything, like the laundry room, which is still not complete, by the way, finished as much as he could for me. And the rest, it was kind of up to me at that point, organizing drawers in the middle of the night, mopping literally three times a day. It was just the whole whole project but i honestly wouldn't trade it for a thing because this entire process taught me how to do so many things i learned so much along the way and this was just such a fun process and i'm so happy that you guys got to join me and experience this entire thing with me my house now feels so much more like home i have a few more videos going out where i kind of show me decorating the house a little bit more so be ready for those and i just love my new pieces thank you so so much to castery but with that we end the house makeover. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye-bye.